Hey, what's going on guys? It's Beast Run 1. I'm bringing you back some Black Ops 2 gameplay. Wait a second, I smell some s'mores. Look at this guy camping up here. Hold on. Yep, I should have known there was a guy up there. I smell some s'mores. He was cooking. He burnt them though. Jimmy, you had one job. You had one job to cook the s'mores properly. You would think that a guy sitting in a corner would know how to properly make a s'mores. I guess not. It's a shame. Well, to be honest here, we're not here to talk about Jimmy or his incapabilities of cooking s'mores. But anyways, guys, uh, this has got the gold MP7 on this gameplay. This is a older gameplay I took from a Search and Destroy. I think it was just a Search and Destroy playlist. It's in theater mode. I apologize for it being extremely bad. I know it's Black Ops 2 theater mode, man. They, ooh, it's it's terrible. I'm I'm sorry, but it's 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 rough. But I can't really be mad because I have a game capturing device, so I shouldn't really be trying to always get gameplays from theater mode. I should just be doing the smart thing and recording them live. So that's the good thing about Ghost, though. I'm looking forward to that just for the simple fact that I heard they're taking away theater mode, and I did go over this a little bit. A lot of people have been, you know, rumoring that the theater mode is what's slowing Ghost, or I mean, not slowing Ghost down, but slowing the, the Call of Duties down. I mean, that could just be a coincidence. You know, I did briefly talk about this in one of my uh, the previous commentary uh, which will be in the description or the end of this video of course on the outro but uh, you guys can go ahead and check that out whenever the outro and the video is over but I did talk about it briefly and I don't know it may have just been a coincidence but it it's better safe than sorry I mean might as well take the theater mode out because I mean it didn't work half the time anyways you got a lot of your games you know uh, deleted and it was just a bad time for people that <laughs> not even people that necessarily did YouTube, but it was just, it's pretty useless, you know, it's its one of the things that doesn't get used, uh, not necessarily, it probably got used a lot, but it it was not appreciated because it didn't work half the time, like I said, so, I'm actually glad to see it gone, I don't know about you guys, feel free to leave you, you know, your opinions down in the comment section, I'd actually love to hear them, and what your opinions are about, you know, what you think, you know, should theater mode stay in Ghost, which I don't think it should, I think it should be out, they just need to do away with it. If you want to record a gameplay for YouTube, just go out and buy a capture device like everybody else does. They're not too expensive. Some of them can get pretty pricey, I'm not going to lie. Uh, but you can get a decent capture device for probably a little under $150, which I'd prefer to get a higher-end uh, you know, capturing device just because you can get pretty decent-looking gameplay. I consider my gameplay pretty decent-looking. Hopefully, it's visually appealing enough for you guys to watch it. I try to do my best to make the contrast and colors pop as much as I can without hurting your eyes and, of course, making it pretty easy to view. So nonetheless, uh, you know, that's just with the capture devices. And that's just my opinions on the theater mode and just some of the Call of Duties. Uh, I just want to go ahead and warn you guys, which not that it's really a warning, but I was just letting you guys know that this is kind of a uh, just random talk commentary. Again, I like to do these all the time. I like to keep you guys informed on some stuff that's going on. So um, another positive thing I wanted to say right now is that um, I think I kind of figured out the problem with my computer. For those of you who don't know or haven't seen the video, uh, I made a video. It was on it was a Modern Warfare 2 gameplay. I was very frustrated in the video because my computer, uh, my computer has been giving me a lot of problems. It was freezing on me a lot. It would crash sometimes when I'd put it in sleep mode. You know, to just come back and return and get you know doing some more work on it later, it would just shut off like. Uh, as soon as I press sleep mode, it would go to sleep, and then the whole thing would just shut off for no reason. So I, I was really confused because I checked my drivers, I checked my video drivers, I checked Steam's drivers. I literally checked pretty much everything you could, you know, try and check. And then I asked you guys, uh, you know, what you thought it was in the uh, comment section of the video. And a lot of people were giving me suggestions, so I want to go ahead and thank you guys right now, just uh, from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much for actually caring enough about me and uh, encouraging me to keep putting out content. Even though I was um, very irritated at the time, and I apologize for my, you know, sour attitude, but you guys gotta understand, as a content creator, I love doing this. It's it's a passion to me. I really like doing it. It's it's really fun. I don't, you know, I'm, <laughs> I just love doing it. It's fun. And whenever I can't do something that I like doing, it does frustrate me, especially when I can't figure it out. Because I know a lot of people really enjoy my content, and I just think that's awesome, man. You know, it really does make me mad when I can't bring the content to you guys as much as I like to, or in the best format that I can. Luckily, though, I think I actually figured out what the problem was, so I decided to get my AVG security uh, system scan out. AVG is just basically um, antivirus software. It's very good. I have the trial version, or not the trial version, but I have the free version, and it works just fine. It gets all the viruses off of your computer, at least as far as I'm concerned, and it works really well. So I decided to do a scan on it because I haven't scanned it in about a matter of maybe 10 to 15 days. And, you know, you wouldn't think, oh, you know, you just scanned it like 10 or 15 days ago. It's not going to be a big deal. Okay, so apparently within about, 
it got to about 23%. It already had found six viruses, and it asked me to restart my computer. So that was a pretty bad sign. I don't know what kind of viruses were on it. It didn't say. I went back to check the after reports after uh, I you know, booted my computer back up. But I restarted my computer, started it back up, and then I started the scans again because I wanted to make sure there was nothing else because it was only on 22% when it found six viruses. So that's pretty bad. And just so you guys know, I'm not, an, I'm not a moron. I don't get on stupid websites. Like, I don't risk damaging my machine because this, this machine, it, all of this, I paid for myself. It came out of my pocket. I'm not going to risk destroying it. I mean, I've probably invested almost, you know, eight to nine hundred dollars just in this because I paid around six hundred dollars for my computer and the monitor combo, and then I bought a video card that was two hundred fifty dollars, roughly, and then I had to buy a power supply that was almost, you know, like seventy dollars. I mean, come on now, you, you know, you think if you invest the money into a machine, you wouldn't want to do anything stupid to harm it. So I'm not on any dumb websites. I don't know where the hell the viruses came from. They just came out of nowhere. So then I scanned it again and it found eight more viruses. One of them was a Trojan horse virus or something stupid like that. And the others were malware. For any, I don't know if any of you know what the heck that is. Some of you may uh, be, you know, intellectual with, uh, you know, what certain viruses are and where they're generally uh, obtained from. I have no idea. I don't really check my emails. So really the only thing I do is get on YouTube. So I can't really pinpoint where the heck these viruses came from. I don't really care. They're off my computer now and the computer is doing much better. It's been running games much more smoothly, and uh, I've just been noticing a big performance upgrade on it. So, you know, I'm just going to hope for the best and hope it continues to do what it's doing. But now I set the thing to scan every two days. Like, it, it scans literally every other day. It'll be a Monday, and then it'll scan Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, or whatever. You know, there's a day in between where it doesn't scan. And then sometimes if I'm just bored or whatever, if I know I'm going to be sitting there doing nothing, I scan it anyways. Because I'm not letting that happen again. I mean, I'm really not. I just don't want to risk it. Uh, so I'm really excited about that guys. I'm really excited that I think I can finally bring you guys some content and my computer not give me so much fuss about it because I like doing this. It's a lot of fun. I mean, I, I can't express it enough. I love doing it. I love getting your guys opinion, your guys feedback. I like to hear, you know, everything that everybody says. It's just a fun time. You know, I like getting gameplays for you guys and I just like sharing my opinions with people. It's a lot of fun. It's a nice little interaction you can get with people that you otherwise couldn't obtain uh, and, you know, uh, the physical world, I guess you can say. So, you know, you can talk to people that you wouldn't otherwise be able to meet in uh, real life, per se, necessarily. So, it's a really cool experience, guys. So, I just want to thank you all so much for just all the help you've helped me with. It's awesome. So, anyways, you guys, of course, have an awesome day, and I'll see you in the next commentary.